Good afternoon, everyone. This is Sunday afternoon, and I am going to show you how I'm going to thank my former self um, with today's lunch. What we are going to do is, you heard it, open up, and it smells so good. This is my black bean soup that I made in January of last year. And I am going to take this out of the jar. Thank my former self for creating a meal in a jar using food bank food. And this will probably be a meal for me for lunch and maybe a meal tomorrow for lunch or I might even if I might even eat it for dinner because I do like black bean soup and so I will be making more of my meals in a jar um, this year because it makes it really convenient and easy and I also wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know that next week I will be starting to make some meals in a jar using some beans that I got from the food bank um, I have collected. And I will be making meals in a jar like this starting next week. But the week after, I'll be resting up because I will be going into surgery um, on the 27th. And so I wanted to let you know that I'll be taking advantage of all these meals in a jar that I have put on my shelf and using them um, during my recovery from my surgery and make it really easy for me to, um, to eat my meals. And so guys, I wanna thank you um, for sticking with me. I took a few days off um, because I had gone to the eye doctor and prepared for this surgery. And for some reason then Friday and Saturday, I wasn't feeling well. So today um, I'm going to give you a sample of how I thank my former self. And as I go and create new meals in a jar for this year, I am going to take you along with my with take you along with me on this journey and give you the um, books that I use the recipes that I use and what books I use them out out of and how I can using those books I also want to take a moment to turn the turn the camera around and give you a little peek at the there it is the watermelon okay I did cut up one of the watermelons and it's about halfway gone um, like I said I snack on those watermelon I love watermelons so I, it's a snack for me and I have my cabbage back here that is fermenting so it's working okay I can see the bubbles coming up and it's it's doing its thing okay and remember it has to go like six to eight weeks of fermenting before it's ready to go into the refrigerator all right we're gonna go back to my soup over here and get you in here and let you see that once you get these soups in a jar put together then you have two or three meals all you had to do was open a can and you know a jar I mean and you know what's in the jar it's not like a can of soup that you get from the grocery store you know what you put in this and you know how much salt is in it you know there's no preservatives in it and so this is absolutely the best way to go 
when you want to make meals uh, shelf stable for yourself. And I have several of them. You guys have a blessed day, and I will see you on the next video.